Some blue language and a profane gesture used as evidence today in the case against artist Trey Songs. He's charged with assaulting a police officer and aggravated assault after allegedly punching an officer in the face after his concert last year. Coco McAvoy joins us live from the courthouse to tell us more about uh, what unfolded in court. Coco? Yes, Devin, the two pieces of evidence in question show Trey Songs making vulgar gestures before and after the alleged assault, and the prosecution argued that it should be used during the trial, saying that it shows his true character, but the defense says that it's pointless. Hey, this is Trey Songs in D.C. with a special message for the police. This was a Snapchat video from Trey Songs or Tremaine Neverson at the MGM Casino in Washington, D.C. Five days later. Cut me off, I'm going crazy. Chaos at his concert in Detroit after his microphone was cut off. Police say he punched an officer. Your Honor, it is alleged that during his arrest um, where he punches the police officer that um, he's charged with, uh, he is saying vulgar terms to the police. So the question was whether or not the prosecution could use the video as evidence during his trial. He's showing highly dissatisfied um, remarks towards the police. It's a derogatory term. The defense argued the language comes from an 80s rap song by N.W.A. Is it saying that I'm going to punch a police officer five days later in Detroit when I don't know that I'm going to have contact with the police? It does not. It just simply says the police. Also up for debate, two booking photos taken after the concert showing Neverson giving the middle finger. What the prosecution is trying to do is to throw more dirt on Mr. Neverson because it has him flipping off the police after he has been beaten and arrested. Ultimately, the judge ruled both the photos and the casino video can be used as evidence in Neverson's trial.